Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I have some more bad news uh, for Black America. Uh, this young lady is talking about um, her experience with job hunting. Now, folk are always saying, uh, get out and pull yourself up by your bootstraps, go find a job, this, that, and the third. So what happens when you go looking for that job and you can't get the job because they've already selected someone else or let's just say they've already selected a whole other group, a whole other demographic of people. This young lady is going to explain what happens when she goes to apply for jobs. Just know that this is coming to a city near you. So based on this bit of information alone, we better change our strategy and change it fast. Take a listen at this and I will be right back. I'm just waiting on the day that everybody in Chicago wake up and start talking about how these Venezuelans are the only people that's getting jobs. How the Venezuelans in Chicago get an EBT card with $4,000 on there, and every time somebody posts it, y'all always removing it. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. Because it's crazy, like, I went to go fill out a whole bunch of job applications and y'all know them things is in Spanish. Like, not to say I don't know Spanish, but that is crazy, like, how a city can adjust to the outside before they make accommodations for the inside. But ain't nobody talking about that. It's all right, though. Okay. Did we just hear her say that the job applications are now in Spanish? So that right there tells you who these companies are looking to hire. I remember when Claude Anderson was saying 30 years ago that if black people don't do certain things by a certain time period, that they will become a permanent underclass. Do we not see that happening? As a matter of fact, it wasn't just about us doing or not doing. Along the way, there have been stumbling blocks cast there have been roadblocks placed. That being said also, we know who did this. But ultimately, because we don't have that togetherness mindset, because we don't have the understanding of unity, and because we don't understand what repentance truly is, the Most High is allowing all of these, to, all of these things to come upon us as a people, as a whole. Now, individually, you and your family, you can come up out of this. The Bible actually tells us. It says, if your ways are found right in the sight of the Most High, even your enemies will be at peace with you, right? It also says, if you delight yourself in the Most High, He will give you the desires of your heart. So we have been given the road map, but too many people are straying off the course, and they are trying to figure out how to navigate through this system without their lifeline, and without their guidebook, right? We have so many intervening activities coming for our minds, the fiery darts of the wicked telling us that the answer is not in the book, the answer is not in prayer, the answer is not in a relationship with the Most High. Too many people are trying to push that narrative through this system. When the Bible tells us it's in Him we live, in Him we move, and in Him we have our being. We've got to understand this. If you expect to rise up out of the dark ditches of this world, if you ex expect to escape the ditches that have been dug for you and your family, then you're going to have to grab hold to that lifeline of love, that lifeline of truth, grabbing hold so that the Most High can bring you to safety. The Bible says, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. And the truth of the matter is that this country, 
They have a bone to pick with us. The Bible actually told us that they were going to have a perpetual dirt top for us. It was going to burn in them forever and ever, and that's what's going on. They can't help it. It is there. But how do we navigate through it all? How do we make sense of it all? How do we come out victorious? Well, we do that by putting on the whole armor of the Most High, that we may be able to stand against the wiles and the devices of the devil. Put on that whole armor so that when you see these things, you are not soon shaken in mind. But you will still know that the victory is in your hands. This is what we need right now. We need the truth in our ears, right? We need the truth in our ears because we, have been we are being bombarded with stories such as this. And some of our people feel hopeless because they are not grabbing hold of hope. The Most High is our only hope. He is our only chance. And that's where we need to lean and put all of our faith and our confidence. That is what we need to be doing. So it is a sad thing to watch. But biblical prophecy at some point has to come to pass. It was told that we would be in perilous times in the last days. That men shall be lovers of their own selves more than lovers of the Most High giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, all kinds of things, right? It also said that there was going to be a perplexity of nations. If these people are going to be afraid, people are going to be running in fear. Great famine is going to come upon the land. So many things have been told to us. What are we going to do about it? What do you plan to do about it? What are you going to do with that information? We can't afford to put it up on the shelf. So if they are telling us that job applications are in Spanish now, the big picture is that they plan on hiring people that are Spanish, right? That seems to be the direction of these companies. And if that is their direction, that's going to leave a lot of Americans out in the dark. And most people, when they end up in the dark, they try to fight their way out and they're not always fair with their fighting. So. They are trying to stir up an environment of chaos. They want civil W-A-R. That's what they want. And they are creating the perfect storm for just that. But how you fare in this determines, how you fare in this is determined by your walk with the Most High. So I say that you need to draw an eye to him so that he can draw an eye to you. Seek him for direction. Pray without ceasing with much prayer and supplication that the Most High will teach you and show you how to navigate through all this until the time comes that we are carried away from here. Because he says, pray that we are counted worthy to escape those things that shall come to pass. I'm done with this video. You all chop it up in the comment section. As always, keep it tight and keep it right until the next live or the next video. Stay prayed up. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.